Hey everybody, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with a video response to Robert Z's question that he posed. Uh, what happens to your stuff when you're gone? Have you thought about it? Uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, I've thought about it a little more than probably some of you in the VC for some reasons that I don't want to get into in some respects. But one per before I get into that and then any of this stuff, uh, just a, a little shout out to Robert. Okay. Describe Robert. Robert is the glue that holds the VC together. Maybe not quite that dramatic, but Robert is just... I think LJ was the one that said this in an earlier video. He's all about relationships. It's it's not just about vinyl. You know, I'm not going to show any vinyl in this one. It's not about that. It's about the relationships we have with each other, the relationship we have with our collection, as bizarre as that sounds. Uh, it means something. Our collections mean something to each one of us. You know, otherwise we wouldn't be collecting, you know. Uh, but Robert just... The type of person Robert is, it, it's really just, he's just a, an amazing person because he, when I first got into the VC, shortly after I got into the VC, I had a couple of problems. I was trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, and and Robert wasn't the only one to reach out. I have to make that really clear. Robert wasn't the only one, and I appreciated everything that everybody had, the input that they put. But Robert's like sending me his phone number. It's like, call me, dude. If there's anything I can do for you, call me. And he means it. You know, and that's really special. And that's Robert Z. Um, the reason this question is kind of interesting uh, to me, kind of weird, um, is because about about two months ago, a, a friend of mine that I go to church with, uh, an older gentleman, who is more than once, he, he collects 45s primarily, and he's probably got seven, eight, thousand forty fives dating back to the 50s up into the early 70s and um, we love hanging out whenever we can listening to these 45s he's not like an audiophile type of guy where everything's in great shape everything's in but he's got some amazing stuff and he's he's getting on an age and he he posed the question gee you know I've got all these records and my family they love me but this doesn't mean anything to them and I really would like to find somebody who would appreciate them and I'm like you know, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm, you know, he was thinking about it, and then he comes to me, a person that he had, he'd worked with, uh, had an, you know, several thousand albums, um, and he developed cancer, and he passed away, and he had no family, and and um, and Ed was coming to me, my friend Ed was like, what happens to those records, Scott? He had an apartment full of them. And and this guy apparently was you know concerned that everything was sleeved. It was very nice from what I understand. Um, he had nobody. Nobody knows what happens to these records. Did the landlord get them? What happened? You know, they meant a lot to this guy. And hopefully, there was a plan. Hopefully, you have some kind of a plan if it means something to you. If it doesn't mean anything to you, you know, if it's just materialistic stuff, then so be it. But that really got me thinking. And then Robert throws this question out and I'm like because I've been thinking about it it's like oh boy what happens if I go this stuff does mean a lot to me make it really 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 super clear it doesn't mean it means nothing to me compared to like my family my friends and not to sound mushier <laughs> but relationships mean a lot more to me than than my music but everybody who knows me the first thing that they'll talk about when they're talking about me, that anything good, that is, hopefully, is that my I have a love for music, and I've been collecting for a long time. And um, I actually talked to my wife about it and said, you know, um, I've been thinking a lot about this stuff lately, and I have. I mean, I'm getting a little older. Um, you know, you know, got pre-existing health issues, blah, 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 whatever, you know. Um, we, the truth is, is, any of us could go to bed tonight and not wake up tomorrow. Um, in the event of that, I know what would end up happening because I don't have a solid plan yet. My wife is going to get rid of the stuff to the best of her ability and I'm concerned that a lot of people will rip her off because she really doesn't have a great understanding of what I have. 
Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. You know, what I would like to happen is I have a couple of very close friends um, who who also collect. And I would honestly like them. My wife's first reaction would be, "Well, we gotta sell this stuff. If you if you if you go, I gotta pay for this funeral and stuff expenses." And that's unfortunately the reality of things. You know, that would end up being part of the plan. But if I had my way, totally, um, some of my friends that collect records would get stuff from me. Knowing, I, this is a YouTube vinyl channel, so I don't talk about the other stuff I have. I don't talk about the instruments, the guitars that I own, um, the drum kit, you know, all that stuff. That stuff I, I have in my head. Other people that play drums or a friend of mine that that plays guitar as well. I mean, I don't, I, you know, I've got like a Martin, I've got a Les Paul, and I've got a, a, a Strat, and, you know... I just don't want those to end up at Goodwill, you know. Um, you know, those were investments, and hopefully they're either going to make money for my wife or or they're going to bring great joy to some of my friends. I would much rather, that's the type of person that I, I am, I would much rather give something away, and I've done this before, maybe not, I, I, you don't see me doing a lot of VCLTing, um, you know, I'm just not there yet, and that's. But people that I know in my community, the handful of friends that I have that do collect records, um, when I have duplicates or I have, if I if there's something that really means a lot to them, I might I probably end up giving it to them because it means a lot to them. And and I mean, no, I'm not going to give my butcher cover, Beatles butcher cover away. But you know, the other things, you know, um, a good friend of mine got in a turntable, and I had a pile of albums. I bet probably. 50 albums. Um, I actually bought a receiver from him. I bought my my uh, Nico off of him a while ago, and he, he was talking about, you know, I don't, I got a turntable. I don't have a lot of vinyl, and you got so much vinyl, and gosh, that would be, you know, someday I'm gonna get this stuff. And he's asking me where you buy it and stuff, and I'm looking at this pile of vinyl that I didn't know what I was gonna do with, and I'm like, have a record collection. And so he ended up getting a lot of stuff that I knew that he would dig, and it made him really, really happy, and it made me really, really happy. So. The important thing, I guess, because I'm rambling like I usually do, I think the most important part, thing I can say, is my record collection, my music as a whole, has brought me great joy in my life. And all that I really want is that wherever it goes, whoever it goes to, it can give them the, the joy that, that, um, you know, that, that it brought me, you know. Uh, I just, um, that's just where I'm at with that, you know. So, no, no solid plan yet. Um, if I get older, I, I, a few people have said this, I'll be sending stuff out as, I, you know, the older you get. I'm, th I'm actually weeding through stuff now that I'm like, I'm never going to listen to this again. I know it. I've got, you know, I've got like three copies of Eagle's Long Run, you know. Like four copies of Jackson Brown's first album. Um, why do I need all of those? I really, really don't. You know, it's kind of selfish and piggish, I think, in a way. For me, I'm not saying you can have 20 copies and that's fine for you. For me, it's piggish. But anyway, the whole point brings me joy. Whatever I do with it, I hope that it would bring that person or those people joy. And that's my rambling about um, Robert Z's question. Alrighty? his thread, whatever. Until next time, everybody, peace and love.